Hello, my name is Aubrey. I uh, This is my first video and I did want to kind of explain something to you people. I am a makeup artist from San Antonio area. I am San Antonio Austin. This is what I wanted to talk to you about today. I am a trying to start a model agency. Model agency from scratch. And I have a cyber bully named Curtis Reynolds. That cyber bully has totally took and tried to destroy my name. Six years of destroying my name. Six years of trying to figure out how he can ruin me and tell models not to go with me and he said, I've raped models, I've locked models in a closet, I've hurt models. I've got a whole blog that I'm going to read to you here in a few minutes. So if you'll hold on just one second. Let me get that. Okay, here it goes. My name is Aaron Strasbaugh. I am a talented photographer and model manager in San Antonio and Austin area. I have spent several years trying to get a modeling management company going and a model agency off the ground. I have a photographer that has tried to ruin my name and his name is Curtis Reynolds also known as Surtex 64 I have Asperger's which is considered a disability it also means that my social networking is not always cued in as in socially uh, not understanding social cues. Other than that, very normal. I have been trying to get out of the social security system and that is another problem when you're being destroyed by a bully and a cyber bully. Uh, I am, actually the law says that I should not be cyber, cyber bullied because it is against the law to bully somebody with a disability. And I have a disability in the state of Texas. So that does not stand very good. And I'm going to read this from here. I may ask you to model as comic book, comic book conventions, uh, anime conventions, all of that. May dress you up as Harley Quinn, may dress you up as Catwoman, may dress you up as Cinderella, whatever it is, I may dress you up as and give you a chance to do anime and cosplay.
I also take photos so that models have a portfolio. And these, this portfolio so that they can get hired, that they can get work. Girls, when you shoot with me, you shoot. When you shoot with me, uh, Curtis scares you away from me. And that's because he is a slick talker, really smooth talking, really gets online and screws with people's minds. I mean, this man needs to be grown up. He says that I am not a good person and that I have raped, molested women, screwed little girls, or that I am deranged in a mental case. But I'm not any of those. With me, you have a chance to get employment. With him, you don't have a chance to get employment. I'm just trying to get you good employment as a model manager. And that's really hard to do in San Antonio area. He tells people that I've been in trouble with the law. I've never been in trouble with the law. You can check that out with the police. You can call San Antonio, uh, New Braunfels, and Austin police. I have never been in trouble. I have maybe had a couple hits on the record for being for going too fast or stuff like that but other than that no I've never been in trouble with the law this guy has worked with cricket Curtis Reynolds has been fired from cricket says that 30,000 35,000 people have left cricket and been laid off uh, that was never proved you can look that up too. That never will be proved because we don't know. We do think the FBI has taken him out. And that was because possibly embezzling money. We do not know for sure, but we can give a good say on that. He's worked with Cricket. I have evidence from other models that he has came to the models and talked to them. He has looked up my models and left them messages and said a lot of nasty things. And I don't deal with that at all. That is wrong. That is messed up because I have never done that. He makes up lies. He has made up lies that lose me employment, real employment, and then modeling employment. So, I am trying to get this straight with you guys that I am trying to get my name out there as an intelligent person, model manager, businessman, and give you a chance to see what I'm like. If you're willing to give me a try, I'm willing to give you a try. This Curtis Reynolds guy is a photographer too. He uh, is a grown man around this age of somewhere in age of 50s. He is too old to be acting like a child and holding a grudge against someone for whatever reason. Curtis always says he's protecting the girls. Protecting what? Protecting them from a guy who has done nothing to them other than took their picture, asked them to model. If he's asked them to model, that there's nothing wrong with that. I haven't done a thing wrong. He says he's protecting the girls. He's also, uh, what he's doing is pretty much losing you as a model a job and a chance to get a real job.
I guess he feels that he has the right to monitor me and be Mr. Policeman and tell me what I can do and what I can't do. Well, that's not going to be anymore. That needs to stop. I mean, I'm hoping other people listen to me and understand what I'm going through as a cyberbullied, disabled person. And the funny thing is, I'm not really that disabled. Did someone make this Curtis Reynolds God? I mean, hell, if he's God, God is God. A human being is not God. So, I can't say that's what he thinks he is. He's God to me, and I'm not going to deal with it. I'm done with being cyberbullied by this man. This man cyberbullies. This man tries to contact all my models. This man has a full-pledged uh, mind that goes crazy. I mean, that's pretty much what he does, is it goes crazy and he says, I'm wrong. He's made this stuff in his head up and he gets these people to leave my Facebook in my Model Mayhem. Model Mayhem. He screwed me on Model Mayhem. He's losing me business and it's time for people to sit down, go look at what the police say, go talk to the police stations, go find out if I'm really a bad person. Because if I am that bad, then something's going wrong here. Because if I'm bad, he's muddying my name for no reason. This blog is written 6-5-12 after Curtis has been told to remove YouTube videos that were me blaspheming him, but that was six years ago. Six years ago, grow up, forget it, get a life. He taped those YouTube videos without my consent. There was no consent. He says that there is consent when I make messages like that. No. That is wrong. You don't do that unless I've been consented and you've told me you were taping me. That is totally against the law. I hope someone hears this that may be able to help me and figure out how to maybe listen to me on this. But I wish you girls would understand that I am trying to help you. I am trying to get you jobs. I am trying to give you a chance to work in a professional setting with photographers, with makeup artists, with models, with me. He also taped my mom without consent. I mean, what, what kind of weirdo is this guy? Sits there and tapes people that call him. So the thing is, you don't want to call this guy and be mad at him. Because if you call this guy and you're mad at him, he will tape you. I will warn you about that. I will warn you that this photographer also does topless. He has done, he has said that's not porn. That's porn in my book. That's porn in a lot of people's book. If somebody would help me figure this out and get this going, I have a temper. Yes, I get mad. I'm Asperger's. Asperger's people, they get mad. They have a temper. Most of them either go off the handle. I went off the handle on those videos. So don't judge me until you meet me. Judge, judge me after you've met me. Make the decision on what you want to do with your modeling career. I'm willing to work with you. I want you to see this. I don't know what's wrong with this Curtis man. He's been doing this for six years. Well, actually, 
seven years, maybe going on eight. This, this, this is crazy. Really crazy to have a man do this to somebody. I am planning to keep writing these blogs. I am going to place blogs, these blogs, different places.